Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill <coughs> and here's um, another video of my stock buy-in. Now before I start and get showing you the, um, the stock I've got today, I um, just want to say thank you to absolutely everybody who've commented on um, me getting the new shop. There's been loads and loads of advice, um, some pros, some you know, negative. Um, roll in all, I appreciate all the advice. Some of you said make sure you do this, make sure you do that and no doubt you've helped make sure I haven't stumbled along the way. Shop's going to open now in about 11 days. At the moment all I'm doing is washing, pricing, wrapping stock to go in the cabinets. Um, I was short on art so I went out yesterday and I bought a load of art. Uh, some really nice pieces and I'll show you them in just a moment. Um, what can I say? Exciting times. I'm going to make the videos as much as I can. I'm not going to stop the videos guys just because I got the shop. But over the next two weeks while I'm preparing the shop and getting it set up and everything I am actually going to be struggled for time. So I'm going to do them as, as I can. Um, if I can do them every day I will. Um, but if not it's certainly going to be as much as I can do them. But thank you very much for all the support you've given me for the uh, shop and obviously you'll get to see that film shortly. I bought the most amazing um, gypsy carriage and horses and uh, porcelain figurines and that to make a shop window display. Um, I'll make that into another film. I'm not going to sell the uh, carriage and that as much as I could probably sell it easily. Um, it is, I visioned the perfect window displays. On the one side I got that old, old typewriter, the uh, commercial typewriter. I'm going to have that in the window with a nice piece of artwork behind it. And in the other window I'm going to have the gypsy caravan with the horses and the people around it. <coughs> Just making two really nice window displays. And I'm not going to sell the window displays, they are going to be fixed, permanent fixtures as decoration to draw people in. You're not going to be able to walk past an old gypsy caravan with horses and porcelain figurines without looking at it. So, I paid a bit of money for it, but oh God, guys, wait till you see it, it's lush. Anyway, I'm going to get on with uh, what I have bought. I'm going to start off with an Art Deco, no I won't, I'll leave that in a minute, I'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to start off with the art, because I can move this over then. Now what I've got here is a lot of 19th century art and a little bit of modern. Now the first piece here is, um, I think it's, it may be out of a big magazine. It's a 19th century print, dated 1873, hand coloured. So all, all the colour is all done by hand, so it's hand painted on a print. And it's all the fashion of uh, Victorian times in 1870s. All the different dresses, the designs, uh, the Young Ladies Journal, monthly panorama of fashion. Is that not beautiful or what, guys? Now, that's not far off two foot wide. Um, I got two of them. I'll show you the other in just a minute. They have a little bit of fox in, but they got the look. They look amazing. They dated 1873, and that is the correct date. That is the period date. Um, they framed up well, and if you're into fashion or things like that, you know they're going to really look right in the you know in the right place. And again, young ladies' journal, a monthly panorama of fashion, and you have all the different types of dresses. Again, this one's number three. These are, there are a thousand of them apparently guys, all different patterns of the newest silks and dresses materials. Either that or there's a thousand dresses. Yeah, I'd say there's a thousand dresses and they get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, there's about fourteen different ones, thirteen, fourteen different ones per print. So you're looking, there may be a hundred versions of these prints. But they are, nevertheless, Beautiful, really, really nice. The period. Now you can see the back. So, really pleased with those. Paid four pound each, guys. Four pound each for those. The nineteenth-century fashion prints. 
And to be totally honest with you, I see them going out for about 25 or 30 pound each in the shop. Again, we have another fashion print, hand coloured again. Um, well, yeah, I'd say fashion, but I'm not 100%. You have the maple frame. Um, this, this one's quite a comical uh, print, actually, but it's hand coloured again. So, all coloured by hand. And I paid £2 for that one. I'm really pleased with that. This here now is a watercolour. Absolutely beautiful watercolour. It's got cherubs or little putties, uh, whatever you want to call them. But what I plan on doing here with this one, it is obviously for a, uh, a menu or welcome message. All this is a watercolour. So I intend to hand write a nice little message by there saying welcome to uh, Antiques Arena, the shop. Um, hope you find your stay interesting, uh, inspirational and I hope you enjoy your time. Something along them lines and I'm going to laminate it and that's going to be on the front door with the opening times. Uh, obviously without the frame, well I may put it in the frame, I don't know yet. It's a couple of marks on there but you know what, all adds to the character and what a lovely watercolour to do a little handwritten welcome message to the guys. That was free. I was given that one. Um, when I said my plans, what I was thinking of doing with it, he said, oh, I'm going to have that one. This one, guys, is spectacular. Can you see that? Now, every single bit of this is done with silk. All the flowers, all the leaves, everything. Look at the work that's gone into that. Some skill gone into that, guys. I don't know if you can see it tidy. I hope you can. That is spectacular. I don't know if you'd call it a sampler or silk work or what, but the, the graphics they've captured, you know, with the different colours on the mountains and the water, really is as good as I've ever seen. Uh, age wise, is probably 30s to 50s, looking at the frame and that, but it really is quite something, guys. I paid a tenner for it. But I think it's going to be 35, 45 pound, no problem at all. And it's something different. Again, we got more of the hand coloured um, fashion prints. These are a pound each because they're smaller. Same sort of period, you know, late 19th century. Can't even read that. I'm not even going to try. This one actually got a date on the back of 1830. I don't think they're that old. I'd say they're along the same line as the other of 1870s. However, they both dated 1830 on the back. So whoever took them out of a magazine and framed them has obviously dated them. So they may be 1830s. They were a pound each, guys. Pound each. So. We have some really interesting art. I've got loads more, uh, but I just selected some to show you today. Here we have another bit of a sample, sampler, if you like, or embroidery. It's all done again with silks. There you go, guys. It's got a Chinese design. And no, it's not Chinese. I know. Shockingly, you, you have all the Chinese figures. The birds, the butterflies, it's quite spectacular and I love this mount it's got in silk. The border is absolutely beautiful and that's all silk as well. However, it was made in Jerusalem. Quite unusually. Well, you saw, anyway, the price tag on the front here was £4. Again, I'm not being funny, I'm going to put 30 quid on it, 25, 30 quid on that. It's beautiful, um, and it's going to look amazing in the shop. So, trying to find some really, really interesting artwork for the shop. Um, and at the moment, I'm more than pleased with what I've managed to pull out. Next piece we have here, guys, is a 1920s Art Deco marble clock garniture set. Now a lot of the times you'll see just the clock 
or just the little garnishes. This is running as well guys and I got the pendulum. Spelt the boy. Lovely condition. There is a chip on one of these. It's not a major chip. Ah, there it is. On the corner there. There is a chip on the corner below of one moment. I don't know if you can see it. You ready for this? There's the price. How cheap is that? Now the last set I've seen sold of these wasn't far off £100. Um, with the chip I'm still going to be putting £65, £75 on this bit of Art Deco. It's actually working guys. I don't know if you can hear it ticking. It's actually going. Lovely Art Deco clock garnish just there. Oh guys, seriously, I've had some beautiful stuff. I've had a big massive cuckoo clock. Um, I got a bracket clock. I've had, because I was short on clocks as well, I've had um, a little run on buying clocks. I've had a good three or four really, really nice clocks. A couple of run in the middle clocks. Um, all in all, really have managed to pick up some stunning stock to send down the shop now. Uh, I can't wait for you to see the horse and carriage and that for the window display. I'll probably do that as my next video. I'll just lay out the horse, the car all the horses, the carriage, the figures, and you'll get an idea of how it's going to look in the window. And obviously, and when I set up the shop in 10 days, you'll get to see it in the actual shop. Um, super, super excited. Guys, the most excited I've been in a long, long time. You know, I can go out and find a thousand pounds worth of gold and I go, yay, thousand pounds worth of gold. I'm actually really super excited uh, to be taking the shop on, but more importantly I'm taking it on at the right time. I'm about to hit the Black Friday and Christmas trade. Um, I'm going to have leaflets done up soon. Um, I'll probably use Vistaprint or one of those companies, not sure yet. And what I'll do is I'll canvas the entire area. I'll also put notices up at the car boot sales. All the trade I know will come to the shop. Um, I'll advertise it online, whatever i got to do, I'll get the shop up and running. But more importantly, the, sh the, the location I've taken the shop in, they haven't had a jewellery shop for 15 or 20 years. They haven't had an antique shop for the same. Uh, they're screaming out for this type of uh, shop. I've already had a dozen people saying, oh, we'll be there queuing at the door waiting to get in and have a look at your jewellery. Well, I've got to get into my safe guys, desperately got to get into my safe, i got that bloody six foot safe and I've lost the keys because of the bloody car accident. I'm crying, I really am. Um, if I have to, I'm going to take a disc cutter to the safe. i got to get into it, I need the stock, I want to sell a lot of the lightweight silver and that for Christmas period. So, before I start cutting into the safe, I'm going to set the shop up, empty the office, um, take the shelving and that down to the shop. And I'm going to hope that the keys turn up when I uh, empty the office. If they don't, I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm either going to pay for a locksmith to come and open my safe or I'm going to just take a disc out of the way. It's not going to destroy what's inside because it's all precious metals, there's no paper and things like that. Um, and if a little bit of precious metal gets scored, then it'll just become scrap. It isn't a problem. So, yeah, what more can I say, guys? Um, It's exciting times. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at these couple of pieces of art and the clock garniture. Really nice uh, group of pieces. Uh, um, what I'll show you now over the next few days is uh, a lot of stock videos showing you all the different types of stock I'm picking up to put down the shop. I wouldn't normally buy this sort of set. Well, I would. At the tenner, I would. But it's not the sort of thing I'll put online because it's just too heavy. You're talking like 5-10 kilos of uh, marble and that here. But what I will do, I buy it to put it on uh, on the boot sale. But now we'll end up in my shop, and it's gonna look spectacular. What more do I want? Right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed seeing this video. If you have, I would really appreciate a like and a share. If you're new to the channel, guys, please subscribe, and there's a little bell for notifications. You'll find me on Facebook. I have a page on a group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance, just run a search by seller, Antiques Arena Clearance, and I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. And as of next week, guys, you can find me in Moncton Ash at number 78 Commercial Street.
<laughs> uh, Josiah, you haven't been in touch with me yet, darling. I have texted you. You need to get in touch because you won the competition, babe. Right. Other than that, I'll see you all soon. Thank you for the support. Please keep it up, guys. I do appreciate it. Bye for now.